Isn't this a coincidence? I guess that depends. Did you bump into me or did you know I was here? How could I have known you were here? That's a good question. Doesn't matter. You have a spare seat. And from what I can see, a nice bottle of single malt. been to this bar before. It has a nice ambience. I guess it has its own charm. Let me ask you, do you like American football? I'd have to like Australian football first. I don't know why that is. Australia's been mini America for years. Football culture's always eluded me. So much time and effort for growing men to kick a ball around a field. Football's more than just the act of sport. Such as? Football's a philosophy. It's a way of life. Albert Camus certainly thought so. Albert Camus? And who would that be? A philosopher. He felt that football gave witness to the fullness of life in all its glory. But not everyone's meant with unreasonable silence. Those with a heart open to God never experience silence. There's nothing more silent than the voice of God. God is not silent. He just doesn't speak in tongues like you do. Blind faith is a dangerous game, my friend. There's nothing wrong with having faith in something greater than oneself. Albert Camus certainly thought so. Enough with Camus. All right, then. Why don't you share some of your wisdoms? Sure. Maybe it'll enlighten you. How about Matthew 17:20? Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Impressive. Can you quote all the Bible stories? That was a verse, but yeah, the ones that matter. I know another story that might interest you. It's about the death of a woman. I see. Sounds tragic. Perhaps we should drink some water. We probably should. She was shot by accident. It was a stray bullet. And how do you know the bullet was stray? Because no one wanted to hurt her. And let me guess, the bullet came from a browning. Yeah, her death was a shock to everyone. I see. And the purpose of this story, is it supposed to be some kind of Catholic tale of morality? Every story is a tale of morality. Would it be Catholic, Islamic, Hindu? What about Judaism? What about Judas?
I never mentioned Judas. He doesn't exist in this story. Doesn't Judas exist in every story, Robert? And why would that be? Because men betray one another. The trail requires choice. There was no choice in my story. It was just chance. Why does betrayal require choice? The cause of the betrayal doesn't matter. Because it's cause and effect, John. It's the law of the universe. Fuck the universe. I feel guilty, Robert. It's not you who should be guilty. It's hard to let go. Yes, it is. What does your Bible say about atonement? Nothing you haven't heard before. Christ gave his life for our sins to be forgiven, all of that. No quote. Sure. <clears throat> Let's see. For even the Son of Man didn't come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Mark 26, 28. At times of tragedy, disaster, they're trying for all of us, but they teach us about life about who we are. You say that as if I want to learn about life. I've read philosophy, spoken with priests. None of it matters. All I want is to stop feeling the way that I do. That's all I want. And something deep inside tells me there is only one way this can happen. Maybe in life some kind of atonement is all we can hope for. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Still carry that brownie? I do. I haven't forgotten how to use it. Good. Are we sure we want to do this? We probably shouldn't. It won't change anything. Nothing will change. It certainly won't bring it back. Maybe we just need to learn to live with it. What if we can't? Then I guess we can't. Still service that Browning manually? I do. It's a reliable pistol. Yourself? Just a commonplace six shot. By the right hip. By the right hip. We should probably have some water. We probably should. Maybe a final Bible quote? No, I don't think so. Ready?
Yes. You got a coin? Let's finish our whiskey and you can flip the coin. Three, two, one.